What's up ladies and gentlemen, once again I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits and today I want to talk about DNA ownership and how you should care about it or why you should care about it. Ancestry.com takes DNA ownership rights from customers and their relatives. As you're probably already aware, Ancestry.com is a website that you can go to to trace your ancestry. Of course, you're not giving them money for this stuff, so you become what they're selling ultimately your information becomes the product in this situation you can pay ancestry.com money and they will send you a kit you take a cheek swab you send it on back and then they check it out they figure out what your DNA is and where everyone came from what is a little bit alarming about this is ancestry.com uh, is taking that DNA the rights to your DNA and your relatives. So all of a sudden you're no longer in control of your DNA. Don't use the Ancestry DNA testing service without actually reading the Ancestry.com terms of service and private policy. According to these legal contracts, you still own your DNA, but so does Ancestry.com. The family history website Ancestry.com is selling new DNA test services calling Ancestry DNA, but the DNA and genetic data that Ancestry.com collects may be used against your genetic relatives According to the privacy policies, Ancestry.com takes ownership of your DNA forever. Your ownership of your DNA, on the other hand, is limited in years. It seems obvious that customers agree uh, to this arrangement since all of them must click the click here to agree to terms of service, but how many people really read those contracts before clicking agree? And how many relatives of Ancestry.com customers are also reading? Uh, this is something that's kind of been thrown into the legal scene within the last 10 years. There are three significant provisions in the Ancestry DNA privacy policy and terms of service to consider on behalf of yourself and the genetic relatives. It's uh, it's unfortunate, but let's face it, if we went into the terms of service, we'd find out that uh, that I bet a lot of people couldn't even understand the words within the terms of service because it's probably all in legalese. So, Ancestry.com, take in your information, but this is going to be one of those things that I guarantee you that nobody is going to care about because it's too advanced, it's too far beyond them, or something that they haven't even told me yet, but... This is something that we got to take a stand on, people. Copywriting, ownership over DNA, this stuff's unconscionable. We got to make laws for this. We we need to regulate it. We need to do something. We got to have better terms of services that more and more people can actually read. But remember, if you do the cheek swab with this stuff, they own your DNA. They can do whatever they want with it. And I personally think that's unconscionable because in this situation, you're paying for this stuff. If they did it for free, that would be different. But they're definitely charging money. This stuff isn't cheap. This stuff isn't free. But just watch yourself. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Take care of each other. Have a good one.